YouTube, it's Maddie the Empty Nest Scrapper. I'm so glad you stopped by. Today I am going to do another session of Tidy in 10. And for any of you who are familiar with that series, you know that I will take 10 minutes, I'm showing you my timer here, and do a little tidying task as much as I can for 10 minutes. And this way try to keep my craft room in check. A little bit earlier today, my craft room was frightening. You would never agree to organize with me. And the truth is, I have mentioned many times, I am actually a pack rat. So keeping things tidy is an uphill battle that I work on all the time. And I thought that maybe I would bring you guys along with me and Hopefully, you could tidy also and keep your room in check too. So, one of the things I wanted to mention was when you get a system that you are happy with and um, it's helping you stay organized, one of the things that's really important to do is keep up with that system. So, this is my binder where I keep all the images of my stamps. And um, what I like to do, and I'm gonna put this aside, is create some pages that are empty so that when I pick up a new stamp set, all I have to do is stamp it out and those pages are ready. So today I'm going to take my Dollar Tree page protectors, which is what I typically use, and some Michael's cardstock, and fill those up. And if there's time, I will add them to my binder. So if you have something that you want to tidy for 10 minutes, put me on pause, run and go get it, and tidy with me. With that being said, I am going to start my timer. And there it goes, and see how much I can get done. So, those of you who have seen me before know that I am a slow crafter. I have mentioned that before. And that's okay with me because I, unless it's for a holiday gift, I am just crafting for the joy of crafting. And it is my hobby. It is not my job. So sometimes when I watch some videos, and I see how much volume people are able to put out, I wonder to myself, you know, is there a problem with the way I'm crafting? And uh, some people who I like to watch are people who have an Etsy store or are doing YouTube for their income. I have a day job. This is something that is my hobby, my joy. I am not intent on changing that because honestly, I'm afraid it might steal away some of my joy and that would be counterproductive. So I I craft slow, I organize slow. You know, honest to goodness, I'm just not a very quick person all around. But this in particular is something that I love and I don't want to speed through it. I also want to respect the supplies that I have, the money that I've spent and try to take care of it. And for a pack rat, it is an uphill battle all the time. So the one thing that has helped me keep in check, not only with my spending or um, making sure that I'm aware of what I have and so that I don't buy the same things over and over, is my inventory binders. And I have several binders and I will be um, 
doing this kind of maintenance for all of them because what I tend to do is do a little maintenance and then feel like, well, now I can just buy stuff because I have a place to put it. And trust me, the space goes quicker than you can create it. So I might have one spare page in the, um, in the stamp book that I'm currently using, maybe one or two, but it won't take long before everything is full. And I try to not use my products until they are put away in their proper home. That's one of the tricks that I do to myself to try to make sure that I just don't have an under overabundance of things piling up in a pile that I never get to use or haven't been taken care of. What is going on with this? It is just not, this this page protector just is not cooperating. Is it a defective one? Is the paper a different size? There it goes. Who knows? Who knows? But something like that, when I have a new stamp set ready to go in, would frustrate me to no end. I guarantee it. I just would be um, annoyed that here I am trying to be organized and it's just a struggle every step of the way. So if I take tiny little steps like this, something that should really not take a bunch of time at all, at all um, and uh, try to take care of it when there's no pressure, when there's no stamp set waiting to be put inside. Honestly, I just grabbed a bunch of page protectors and paper. Looks like I am going to run out of paper and have some page protectors left over. And maybe I'll just go with what I have pulled out and uh, add some more stock to this on another day. So, um, once I take care of the, pa uh, the paper and page protectors that I do have in front of me, I'm going to add them to my binder and say that I've maintained my system and it is re ready to welcome new stamps. I also use these page protectors for a different different organizational system, so I don't necessarily want to use them all in one spot. So now I'm just gonna put these aside for now and grab my binder and add the pages to it. So here we are. Gonna move my pages over so they will be easy to put in. So the funny thing is I had all of these stamps in a one inch binder. If you saw my video before, you know that that was overflowing and it was ridiculous. And I put in so much that I actually made the binder split and I called it a Dollar Tree mistake, but it was really user error. Had I not tried to put way too much into that tiny little binder, I would have never had a problem with it. So let's see, is there any extra in here already? Maybe just add one. I think I put too many in that first section. I might pull some out. Don't have too much in here. One in. And of course, you can always look in a different section and see if there is more that you can pull from. 
This one is also not too much in here, but I am gonna pull some of those from the first section and fill in the last few. So this is how it is. You just go with it. Let's see, two, three, enough for a little bit in each section. Let's see how many extra I still have in here. Just uh, one, I'm gonna add one with one more back. I may not need extra in every section, but definitely in the flowers, which was what I was up to. That's one of my favorites. And oh, I already have extra in there. Looky there, okay. So just in the humor and the backgrounds, and I will have added something to every section, and that's enough for me. And I can juggle them around depending on what I pick up, and hopefully that'll work. And actually I see that I have put some extra blanks at the end and I will throw these in here as well. Seems as good a place as any to store them. So kind of harder to throw them in when they're empty. Look what I found out. Oh well, that's okay. We can get it done and uh, call this a successful tidy and ten. So now I have extra pages in all of my sections. And if I go shopping and pick up some stamps, I am good to go. I can add to this and it'll be great. So I hope you enjoyed this session. I hope you brought something to tidy. And there's my timer. So let's just turn that off. I hope you brought something to tidy and got something done. And if you enjoyed this, please leave me a thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know what you would like to see on my channel. And also, if you have something in particular you would like to see from me, I would love to know. Thanks for stopping by. And uh, if you're brand new, please subscribe if you enjoyed this video. So bye-bye YouTube and above all, stay safe.